Well, I can't say I never met a good woman before. You know, in high school, you meet a lot of good women. You know, they may not be the fly girl, the popular girl at that time, but they end up looking, they end up naturally looking better than the, the girls, most of the girls that's popular or that's considered fly at that time. So a lot of the women that's real slim at that time, they end up blossoming into amazing shapes that last way much longer than a lot of the guys that, you know, that went to my school that was like in the real big bubbles, the nice big thick bodies with the bubbles and the, 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 the big melons, they was liking them. And then the skinny girls, a lot of them was, some of them was getting, you know, they was real cute or whatever, they was getting a little play, but a lot of times they wasn't, they wasn't the first choice. But, um, you know, I definitely met a lot of good girls um, that I could have been with at the time, but you're thinking like, oh, man, I can do a little bit. The problem is with men and women, a lot of times we think, oh, we can just do a little bit better, a little bit better, and we're not perfect. I don't care how good we look. We got a personality flaw. We got a, a, a thought process flaw. Some way we think could be um, toxic or uh, it can be um, not beneficial for us. We can be selfish. We can be stubborn. We can be vindictive. We can be um, unrealistic, unreasonable, delusional. So these things, even though we look good, we might got money, we might, we might be conservative, we might got good manners, but deep inside, we may be unselfish, delusional, unreasonable, um, unrealistic, um, controlling. So when we got these things, we can't expect, you know, the people gonna want to be around us just because we look good, got money, we appear to be have manners, um, we appear to be neat, clean, perfect mouth, perfect skin, teeth, whatever you want to call it. We still got flaws, personality flaws. Oh, we may not know God, so we got demons in us. We got all these, all this stuff. We neat, we look good, we got manners, we seem like we're on top of the world, but we don't got God, so we don't got nothing. Because them demons get in you, and then you can end up getting in a car accident and going slam to a place you don't, you didn't think really exists, but you heard about all your life. Um, so we just gotta understand that in life, the quicker you can figure out certain things, the quicker you can, you know, realize that nobody perfect and, and you gotta deal with people based on their heart, you know, and their intentions for you. And then you can have a long enjoyment with people everlasting that really care about you for long instead of just um, dealing with you for that time to benefit them. And so they can leech off you and use you from your, for your attention, for your status, popularity. You want to feed off your attention, your status, your popularity to make themselves feel good, to make themselves look bright. And, and they want to feed off your light to make themselves look bright in other people's eyes. So, you know, um, that's how I go. But far as good girls, you know, in high school and sometime early college, you can meet good girls that's clean, that's not out for the streets, that's not getting ran through, that's not seeking attention and hanging with a bunch of girls that's running around trying to get guys that's popular, blah, blah, blah. Even though I was popular, uh, well, known. Um, so, but you just watch, you, you observe and say, wow, man. Early in life, you do come across a lot of women that's um, clean because they more. Some women get ran through early, whatever the case is. They 12, 13, 14, who knows what happened in their household, but caused them to be have a extremely early start. Um, but for the most part, a lot of women only been with no guys by 18 to 21 or three guys between eight, you know, around 18 to, to 20. 21, 17, 18, 19, 20. So they, they not really, a lot of them not ran through, but they, they some of them get spurts. Once they get out of high school or start or get out of college, sometimes when they get in college, they get a big body count spurt. 
And that, that's what make them lose their innocence and they can't pair bomb with a lot of guys. They can't pair bomb with guys because they, they started um, losing sensitivity down there and in their heart because they lose that connection that God made them where they're supposed to connect with a man, grow with him, and all that type of stuff. So that's what happens. Um, sometimes, you know, you can always meet. It just probably take longer to meet people that's genuine or that's good. As you get older, you can meet people, but it might be a span of every five years, every ten years you might come across. Um, or maybe even once a year or once every two years. Um, you might come across a person that's have you in their best interest. That's that's genuine, and that's not create you know delusional. Nobody gonna be perfect, but certain stuff you just can't deal with. A how you gonna deal with a controlling person? How you gonna deal with an unselfish person? You can't. How you gonna deal with a person that's suicidal? You can't. These are harmful, fatal flaws. You can deal with a um, a, a liar that's you know got you know. That's got small lies or something like that. But can you really deal with a person that's suicidal, that's unrealistic, that's unreasonable, that don't have any best? That was those are major flaws. Minor flaws is, um, you know, something small like it's small stuff, man. Like they smack their teeth when they eat. That stuff like that. That's nothing compared to somebody that's suicidal or that's controlling or unrealistic. You know, stuff like that. Anyway, I'm Alan Ray there. You know everything you need is in the description box. As always, you want a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me, make sure you hit me up on Instagram. And by now, all you guys should be following me on Instagram. Instagram link is in the description box. Make sure you hit the, the like, the like button, the like button right now. Make sure you hit the like button right now. Hit me up on Instagram. You want a one-on-one -on -one consultation. Make sure you have PayPal or Cash App. I don't do Zelly. So, um, you know, let me know how much time you want on Instagram. Join the Patreon right now. Way to support the channel and see the footage of me that you haven't, um, that you um, norm you wouldn't see, see on here. Check out the description box. All the songs and albums, most of the songs and albums are on the um, in the description box. But I have thousands of other songs all on the internet. You can YouTube Alan Rillionaire, The Rillionaire, A W T R, whatever, and all you know my stuff will pop up. So search the the description box, and if you want more songs, search the internet. Uh, YouTube, Google, or whatever. But uh, much love to y'all. Stay prayed up in Jesus' name. If you want to interview, I, I'm, if you want to interview, hit me up on Instagram. I'm, I can interview you um, about a specific topic, and we can. I'm gonna post that on. Uh, I can post that on YouTube as well. But if you want a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me about something you're going through, hit me up on Instagram. Let me know how much time you want. Stay prayed up in Jesus' name. I'm out. Reading Nation. Have a good day. Pookie, Ray, Ray. He pookie, I'm Ray, Ray. He pookie, I'm Ray, Ray.